Good news from Burlington. The three people hurt in yesterday's hot air balloon accident have now been released from the hospital. The CBS 58's Emerson Lehman reports from Burlington on the investigation of this unusual crash. The owner of the balloon is Lake Geneva Balloon Company. Police say that the gondola touched down, but the balloon itself became entangled with a train traveling northbound on these railroad tracks. It was a great afternoon to fly. When Ken Walter heard about the hot air balloon versus train crash Wednesday night, he drove straight to the scene. I went because I knew the people involved. And, you know, I just wanted to see how I could help. While the crash remains under investigation, he says it appears to have been a case of unfortunate timing, calling the pilot very experienced. This wasn't a distress thing. You know, it just is an incident that that happened. You know, he didn't have a problem. He didn't have, didn't hit a building, didn't hit a chimney, didn't hit power lines. And I looked out the back patio and there were four of them up in the sky. Jeanette Weckerly was treated to the sight of balloons in the sky just before the crash. Anywhere in Wisconsin, it's a treat. A treat that turned sour after learning one of the balloons came crashing down. I was in the front and the back just kind of watching and hearing the helicopter and all that stuff. It was an eventful night, but sad when I found out three people got hurt. You do the best you can to keep your passengers safe. And I guarantee you that this pilot did everything he could to keep his passengers safe. We reached out to Lake Geneva Balloon Company for a comment on the incident and have not heard back. Walter says that while the incident was unfortunate, he says he's grateful no lives were lost and says the hot air balloon community will learn from it. Reporting in Burlington, Emerson Lehman, CBS 58 News.